We are not used to exhaust like this in Germany. This is American exhaust. Yeah, California. in the back shop area here at Laid Laws Harley Davidson. Our favorite German has come to town and he's brought new toys with him. So Steve is the lucky recipient of the first ever Wilbur suspension developed for the soft tail frames. So anything 18 model year and newer. We've all been riding it on our touring bikes for a long time. Me personally, I've been riding it on my 2018 Street Glide Special for a long time. We've all been converted. And so we're gonna try it out, see how it is. Glad to be back, Stefan from Stefan's Garage, honoring the uh, great experience of late loss Harley Davidson. We are here to do the world premiere, the reveal of the Wilbur's Nivomart self-leveling suspension for Milwaukee 8 Softtails. And in here is the first production unit, serial number one. Today it's going to be Steve's bike and he opted for uh, different riding styles, one up or two up and he wanted to have full suspension so it's perfect to have the self-leveling Wilbur's Nivomart on that bike. We're going to do an unboxing and of course this is not just the first unit in the world, it's a special customized unit for my friends. Start with the boring stuff first. So the boring stuff will be a bottle of fork oil, especially for the Lowrider S or ST. We have a pair of Wilbur's fork springs, different material, different design of the forks. And now, drum roll. Nervous, making me nervous. That means serial number one. Oh, nice. That's awesome. But more important, is the custom sticker on the other side. Oh, sweet. The troublemaker. How do you know? Awesome. Uh, Especially for late loss and the name of the bike, uh, Troublemaker. Uh, so, uh, yeah. custom sticker for the uh, first Nivo Macho. Holy customized branding on the shock. So all customers get that uh, stuff in when they order one, they get their bike name on there. It will, be a, it will be a surcharge, of course, but <laughs> honestly, if there is a, is, if there is a thing, just give the guys at Wilbur's USA a call or in Germany call me. It is costly because that sticker is made to sustain the 10 year period of the warranty. Well, that's a high quality decal. It's a high quality decal, uh, but Wilbur's is kind of a boutique. So you can get almost everything uh, made to your specs, but you can get pretty high quality uh, stock stuff for your Harleys. Uh, but if you want to have something extra, I cannot promise it, but give it a try. And we did it once for close friends. Uh, yeah. Maybe we can do it for others as well. Do the Troublemaker. I didn't know it was the name of your bike. Yeah, Troublemaker. it's causing trouble. I love it, man. Laidlaws. You got the Laidlaws logo mm -hmm. on there. I don't even want to put it on. <laughs> put that like in a case. Guys, today it's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. These are my roses. That's what we give them the Harley Davidson world, a, a thing of shocks. I love it. Thank sure. You. We're going to have 1HD Tech performing the install today of the Wilbur's Nevo Mod. This will be the first one ever installed in the world. Are you ready for this? Yep. He's ready. All right. Eric, have you ever installed suspension on a Harley Davidson before? A couple times. Okay. So, is, is, are there any like special like uh, instructions or anything, or do you think Eric should be able to like handle it since he's so experienced? Eric is so experienced, and he did it a couple of times. So basically, I am today here to pretend that I'm working. That's why I have my working pants but he is the one doing the work and I'm trying to get some tips regarding the fork rebuild because uh, the rest is just a basic um, suspension install. So it sounds like you're taking a page out of my book. You know, have someone else do all the work and you take all the credit. Well, I'm learning it's from the best. <laughs> <laughs> So 
a lot of us here at the dealership have been running Wilbur suspension for a long time, including myself. I've had it on my 2018 Street Glide for about three or four years now. And it's been my favorite suspension for the touring chassis, Harley Davidson's. But there has been no Wilbur suspension available for the newer Softail frame. So these shocks are the first Wilbur shocks for the new 18 and newer Softail chassis. So this will be pretty cool to be able to offer this now to everybody that has a Softail, you know, a top tier premium suspension like Wilbur's. So yeah, I'm excited to put this on the bike and see how Steve likes it. What's your first impression, Steve? Amazing. Good stuff? Yeah, super soft, smooth, soaks up the road pretty gnarly. Hit it pretty hard too. And yeah. just so it, it, it's not bottling, bottling out, but, oh, it's, no. but it's very soft from the yeah, beginning. Super yeah. Small, yeah, super Good. soft yeah. from the beginning. Yeah. I hit a little bump on the back street and it just soaked it. Yeah. Usually I'd have to and, like... And the rear as well with the, with the yeah. spring for your weight? Good. Well, you're going to let Stefan ride your bike? Yeah. Yeah, but just, yeah. just around just around the parking lot. Oh, around the parking lot? lot? Just around the parking lot, yeah. It's the not parking lot. Thank you. No, go on the street, Stefan. You can't tell anything from the parking lot. Okay, I will take it on the streets. But I will always observe the speed limit. That's, Absolutely. That's a promise that I had to make uh, when I first rode with the late low crew. Always observe the speed limit. That's right. That's right. We're law-abiding citizens here. Yeah, and we're going to keep it that way. That's right. Not used to exhaust like this in Germany. This is American exhaust. Yeah. California. <laughs> That was 0 to 35 miles an hour in 5 seconds or even less and then I stopped. Would you expect anything less from Steve's bike? No. And the suspension really is nice. Nice and soft in the beginning but absolutely top straight when you go maybe 37 miles an hour. Right on. So you liked it overall? The suspension was good? Yeah. And I like the bike. Yes. Yeah, but, but it really feels nice, oh, yeah. it, it absorbs those, uh, but like on a touring it absorbs, it absorbs those hard bumps initially. Yeah.
Yeah, that suspension's awesome. That's really good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Also, the stock one is not bad. Yeah, but yeah. but this thing is just takes it to the next level. Yeah, it does. And just consider hopping your wife as it is onto the bike, and you have the same suspension feel. Yeah, that's awesome. But right oh. now, it's just a good rear shock. But I was really excited, like before the first install video, whatever we did, because I have no experience so far what to expect. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm really happy. I think it will be especially for heritage riders because they, I think, are more like riding one and two up. Yeah. Question I've been always asked, why did it take so long to develop the self-leveling technology for the Milwaukee 8 Softtails? The reason is pretty simple. On the tourings, here we have a touring set, which is an older sticker, just five years of warranty. The red ones have 10 years of warranty. But back to the topic, the tourings are mounted almost vertical. And especially, this is a conventional high quality shock, but especially the self-leveling unit needed to be mounted almost vertical in order for the internal valving and tubing to work because it's a completely mechanical unit, so no electronics. And the self-leveling is achieved just by about 300 yards of riding and the travel of the suspension. And in a soft tail, the vertical mount is not possible as the monoshock is almost uh, horizontal and therefore it took them quite a while to develop or to adapt the technology for the vertical installed position. And you see in addition as the Nivomat is more or less a damping unit with variable damping and a gas spring, the monoshock version needs to have for the basic load a steel spring as well. And basically, it's those two components a little bit modified, forged into one component. The red sticker means 10 years of warranty, like on all Nivomat products from now on. All right, so just got off Steve's Lowrider S, and it's, it's good stuff. It's really good stuff. Uh, these guys know their suspension for sure. The tail end especially, the tail end felt extremely planted. It's got the Nivomat system back there that's like the self-leveling. So if you throw a passenger on the back, it self-levels to the weight, and you know, to get out on the highway, high speeds, and it felt really, really good. Front end felt really good as well. It definitely is better than the stock. It's noticeably better. Too many times people spend a bunch of money on suspension on their bikes and then they get out there and it's a very marginal, almost unnoticeable difference in the suspension feel. This stuff is good stuff. So probably be recommending it to our Softail customers that are guys that are gonna be doing like racetrack type stuff per se, but are guys that just are doing a lot of road street type stuff, especially those people that are gonna be putting a passenger on and off their bike frequently or you know loading their bike down with different amounts of luggage just because of that that self-leveling aspect and function of the suspension it just takes a lot of guesswork out of you know setting the preload and all that good stuff if you're just going to be doing like a streetable type of a build for your bike and with varying levels of weight and things like that on your bike then the Wilbers makes a lot of sense Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you're at all interested in learning more about suspension, our service department here at Laidlaw's Harley-Davidson would love to help you out and suggest some options in improving your ride on your Harley-Davidson. Thanks a lot for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one. Later.